guys, this is Goku. Donate some of your energy and Dragon Punch that subscribe button. And follow Geekdom 101 on the social media platforms. We're going to have an open discussion here about Dragon Ball Super. I want to talk to you guys about the future of Dragon Ball Super and where the storylines are going or may go. And I want to have an open question to the community. And I will leave a poll in the upper... <clears throat> I will leave a poll in the upper right-hand corner of this video, up in the upper right, for you guys to vote on this. Let me know what you think. Should Dragon Ball Super go past the end of Z? And what I mean by that is this, because some people are still confused about this 68 episodes afterward. So, Dragon Ball Super takes place during the 10-year time gap in between the death of Kid Buu and the end of Dragon Ball Z, the end of the manga, with Oob and Pan and those characters being introduced there. This is not... GT, we're not even talking about that right now. We're talking about the end of Z, the end of the manga, 10 years after Kid Buu died, Goku recruits Oob. Super takes place during that time, those 10 years. But the problem with that is when you watch Dragon Ball, or when you read Dragon Ball, the manga, you know that everybody survives because they're all there. Like, they're all there at the end of Z. So because it takes place during that interquel or whatever, it's one of those things where... The drama for Dragon Ball Super may be somewhat affected. Like, are we? do we care as much about the series knowing that the characters are going to be all right at the end? Or is it one of those things where we've always known they're going to be all right anyway, so they can't really affect us in that aspect? It's just something in the back of our heads. Does, does death even matter in Dragon Ball? Should we even put any stock on it? That's kind of my question to you guys, and I'm not alone either. Please welcome Mike from Laughing Stock Media. How's it going? And talk about this. Hey guys, it's Mike here from Laughing Stock Media. How's it going? That's right. Now, Mike, you and I have talked in the past about prequels, not just Star Wars, but other prequels and how doing prequels are very tricky. You know, same yeah. thing with Hobbit, because you know the outcome, so you have to tell a compelling enough story that people care. And it is a challenge. It really is hard to do these things. Um, Dragon Ball Super is an interquel. We know the outcome is going to be a happy ending. So do you think that at this point with where we're going – with Dragon Ball Super, do you think that maybe not the next arc, but maybe the arc after that, that they should jump ahead of the end of Z and start with Goku recruiting Oob and then go from there? Uh, yeah, honestly, since the beginning of Super, I have agreed with what you've been saying about the tension, because when you do know everything that's going to happen to your heroes, to your main characters, well, it does take away a lot of that because you're like, oh, even if they're under threat in this scene, they're still, unless you watch it, like, chronologically, you're going to know they get out of it just fine, or they get wished back in the end, which is one of the things with the Dragon Balls, too, but... I think that definitely a good way to stop, you know, throttling them in that area would be to skip past the end of Z. Now, I thought a cool way for them to do this would be perhaps that they kind of retcon the end of Z to incorporate the way that Goku leaves with Oob to basically that Goku is going to train Oob for the Omniversal Tournament or the tournament that Zeno is putting on. And realistically, they're gods, so, you know, 10 years or whatever to them is nothing. Like, they live for billions or trillions or infinity years however long it happens to be so realistically 10 years is a drop in the bucket so if we flash forward 10 years goku's done with training with oob or we get to see some of that training and then it leads into the next arc of super that's something i really would want to see because it would really solve a lot of those issues i feel like we've been experiencing thus far you know, I had a conversation with, with uh, Super Jan recently, a couple weeks ago, about this, and I thought that I even said the one thing that would get me totally reinvested in Super as far as, like, emotional value, because I still like the series, but I watch it more for fun than emotion, kind of like wrestling, yeah. is mm -hmm. if they did this. Now, a couple things I wanted to bring up that I've been hearing a lot lately. One is people are saying, will they retcon the end of Z? It's possible, but I don't think so. First of all, the end of Z was kind of already retconned in a way because... The uh, Kanzenban release from 2003, I think it was, Toriyama rewrote the ending somewhat and added mm -hmm. a couple extra panels. Not a big deal. It's for the manga only. Um, I don't know if Super's going to retcon that. I don't know if they're going to just erase the Oop thing completely. I don't know. There's not enough evidence yet for us to know this. But one thing I will tell you is the other thing that's been brought up to me is what about GT? The thing about GT is that the way that Super has gone, there's absolutely no way 
that GT can still fit in this continuity. It, it doesn't make sense for various reasons. Number one, the fact that Pilaf wished himself to be a kid again. He's an old man in GT. You don't age that much in that short amount of time. Number two, Goku's god forms are nowhere to be found in GT. Goku just does SS3 and, and then, of course, Super Saiyan 4. But that's it. Like, there's no blue or red-haired forms at all in GT. And then the third one is the fact that the Supreme Kai defused with Kibito and in GT they're fused. There's just... Super and GT cannot fit in the same timeline. But, Mike... Some people have brought up the fact that, well, the reason why they don't want to go past that the end of Z is because they think that it might interfere with GT. And I just don't see this as a economically sound equation. Like, I know that they want to keep GT around for the video games and the transformations and the dragons and Xenoverse and all that. But I just don't think they care that much because if they did, they would have figured out a way to, to fit Super into GT's timeline anyways. Yeah, I feel like they haven't really cared that much about continuity since the beginning of Dragon Ball Super, so I would not be shocked if they still try and shove this into fitting with GT, but honestly, I don't think that it's an issue if they go past the NFZ because, number one, uh, it would be a lot more commercially viable, in my opinion, if they went with a new brand with a lot more, like, forward motion, with a lot more unexplained, you know, they can go in so many new directions versus That's GT, right. which is over. Everyone's dead at the end of GT, can't really do too much with that but uh, inversely i feel like all they would really have to do is say gt is another timeline and you could still have both of them coexist you could still have them both show up in xenoverse and it would make more sense in xenoverse if god and the uh dragon ball you know the uh, super saiyan 4 are both together if gt is just another timeline and even toriyama once said that he views it being more of like you know its own separate you know dimension or you know that's it it's basically like its own thing thing so i don't see it being an issue especially with all the new timelines they're creating if gt just happens to be one of the other timelines or one of the other multiverses out there that was of a different possibility like if beerus never woke up for example i yeah, wouldn't have it's too just, much of an issue exactly it's just another continuity like it's just it's like we've got the dragon ball and again i don't want to get into canon here because it's i hate mm -hmm. that word canon it's thrown around so much from people who don't know all right mm -hmm. um we've got you know the the Dragon Ball anime, Super, whatever. Then we've got, like, the video game universe with Mira, Toa, Demigra. Those characters only appear in that continuity, which is a branch off of the Dragon Ball manga or Dragon Ball anime. And then we've got GT, which is also a spinoff. Technically, GT is kind of a spinoff. I don't know. It's a sequel series, so I don't want to use the word spinoff, but it kind of is, you know, because it spins off of the success of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. So I just yeah. think... I don't think Toei really gives a shit. I don't think Toei wants to come out there and actually say, guys, GT is non-canon. I don't think they're ever going to say that because they don't want to diminish the product. But they kind of have said it without saying it by having all these new forms. The only thing that would make any sense is what you said, where Super ends with like Bulma making a wish to the Super Dragon Balls, saying, okay, uh, I wish that Beerus never woke up, and then all of Super is pretty much erased from history, and we yeah. have, and then it never happened, which to me would be, or the whole thing was a dream. That would be the worst mm. ending possible for Super. <laughs> no. Oh, God. It would suck. Please, no. <laughs> and you know what's funny is that if you take just Battle of Gods, let's pretend that you we just had Battle of Gods and nothing else. That actually could fit with GT because... Goku yeah. absorbed the god key inside of his uh, of his body, and he, he lost the red-haired form for a while. So it would make sense that maybe by GT's timeline, he didn't need to transform because he had that god key inside of him. But once you introduce, mm -hmm. you know, the blue-haired form and the blue Kaioken and all these things that make Goku so strong, Goku from Super would wreck baby Vegeta, who he could not beat in GT and th until he went SS4. I do believe that. So it's just, yeah. you can't fit him. You just can't fit him. So, what other reasons, before we get out of here, do you think that it would be a good idea for them to move past the end of Z, in your opinion? Well, I think, I think one of the big ways, or the big reasons, would be because we all know that Dragon Ball GT has its issues narratively, in terms of how it's written, in terms of how it's executed. So I feel like going past the end of Z would kind of give them a chance to kind of do everything better than it was in Dragon Ball GT. Like, they could have Pan be a character again when she's a little bit older, and this time she won't be incredibly annoying and constantly in the way. They could kind of redeem Goten and Trunks 
Shanks and Gohan, all these characters, and make them a lot more interesting because in Dragon Ball GT, you know, it's Goku time. It's mostly everything comes down to Goku saving the day. You know, there's so many different concepts I think that they can introduce. And if they go with a different timeline, uh, theoretically, they could take different ideas from GT and reinsert them into Super and make them be done even better. Like, they could do Baby over again, but even better. They could do the Black Star Dragon Balls over again, but even better. Like, they could redo the same things and just say, oh, it happened differently because it's a different timeline. Or they could just do something completely original that could be even better. That's why I feel like is the biggest plus and the biggest strength point here, because they could really do anything as long as they just skip past the end of Z. And I also think it's a good opportunity for them to kind of retire some of the Z fighters. You know, yeah. some of the characters that we don't really use anymore. Like, they kind of already done it, but I mean officially, like, you know, Yamcha, Krillin, they can just say, okay, they're older now, they're family men, let's focus on the new generation and really put emphasis on Goku, Pan, Goku and Vegeta as mentors to Pan, um, Goten, Trunks, and not make Pan OP like in GT. Actually give her some buildup. You know, and, and, and Oob, and really focus on those characters and their interactions with the gods and the other universes. I think that it, it would be a good opportunity. So, everybody check out Mike from Laughing Stock Media. Vote in the upper right. Leave your thoughts down below. Should Super surpass the time of um, End of Z? Should we go past it? Is it a good idea? Let me know. Thank you. I will talk to you guys later.